Hi, I'm Sarah and I'm the owner of Peak Physiotherapy. I'm also a classically trained dancer, so I offer a dance-specific physio service here at Peak. Like many businesses, we're also required to stay home at the moment, so unfortunately we're unable to offer our face-to-face appointments as normal. We have therefore introduced a virtual option, so we can offer online appointments via a video link, so we're still very much here to help you with all of your dance-related needs. I know there's going to be a lot of cooped up and very frustrated dancers out there, so we've decided to offer some physio-based online content to try and help you through. I hope you find this useful and please do feel free to like and share the content and come back to us with any queries or comments. We're going to do an A to Z of some of the most common issues that I deal with in clinic, so today we're going to start with A is for ankles. It's really important as dancers that we have strong and stable ankles. We need to jump and land safely, we work on demi point and on full point, and if we have weakness or lack of control at our ankles, we can risk injury. I'm gonna show you a really simple exercise that you can do over the next few weeks to try and strengthen and get more control at your ankles to help with this. I'm gonna take advantage of this lovely weather and work outside, but you can just as easily use a banister rail, a kitchen work surface, or the back of a chair to do this exercise. Before you get started with the main exercise, it's really important that you warm up the area. So make sure that you spend a good couple of minutes doing some ankle circles in each direction and some basic foot pedals until your ankles feel nice and loose. So, the exercise I'm going to show you is a basic plie and rise exercise and it's designed to increase the strength and control through your ankles which will help with your work on demi point, full point and with jumping. It can be done in parallel or in first position and I will show you a number of progressions that you can use as you get stronger. There are however a few pointers before we start just to make sure you're concentrating on correct technique and alignment throughout. It's important that throughout this exercise you don't claw your toes or grip the floor, whether you're in parallel or in first position. Try and keep your toes nice and relaxed and spread out into the floor throughout the exercise. When we do the plie, try not to roll onto your arch or fish the foot as you rise. Make sure that you are evenly weight bearing through your toes and you keep your ankles straight throughout the exercise so that you don't strain either side of your ankle joint. So, hopefully you're nicely warmed up and are ready to start the main exercise. If we start in parallel and we start with a simple demi plie, watching our alignment, knees over toes, Recover and rise up. Lower down and repeat. And we can do this exercise just a few times to start to feel the calf working and some control through the ankle joint. We can then take this exercise into first position and do the same. Demi plie, watching that alignment, stretch, rise and lower. Nice and slowly to build some strength. When you start to feel a little stronger, we can progress this so we work maybe just one leg at a time. If you don't feel ready to go onto a single leg, an intermediate stage. If you place the toes of your other foot onto a demi point and repeat the exercise, plie, stretch, rise and lower, you will find that you work this leg a little bit more than if it was on two legs together, but not quite as much as if you were on one leg at a time.
Then when you do feel stronger, you can take this into one leg. All the time, watching that alignment and the control through your foot. Keep your toes relaxed. Make sure that you're not rolling at your ankle. And that your technique is good throughout. Hold onto your tummy. Squeeze your bottom muscles. And keep that nice posture up through your top line. Once you're happy with this exercise on demi point, you can of course translate it to point work. This is obviously a lot harder and should only be done if you are already doing point work. Um, but again, the principles are exactly the same. You can work in parallel, you can work in first position, you can do double leg, one and a half legs, or indeed single leg. And we'll show you some of the progressions that you can try. I hope that you found this video useful today and now feel confident to have a go yourself. Please do feel free to like and share the content and do come back to us if you have any comments or queries. If you have any specific issues with your ankles, don't hesitate to get in touch. All our contact details can be found on our website at peakphysiotherapy.com. Thank you and see you again.